In this presentation, we will turn on the tracking feature within our Zero accounting software. Get ready, because here we go with Zero. Here we are in our not-for-profit organization dashboard. We're going to take a quick look at our Excel file to see what our objectives will be. Here is our trial balance, our trial balance basically being a chart of accounts, our chart of accounts, and then having the account items that are, or the account numbers as we go. You'll see that this is in basically one column type of format, we're in debit and credit format. When we create the financial statements for the not-for-profit, we are going to be needing separate columns over here to, to format the financial statements the way we would like to have it formatted. That's going to include, as we could see in the statement of activities, where we have the items that are restricted and unrestricted or with donor restrictions and without donor restrictions. In order to do that type of breakout, we're going to use a tracking type of feature within the zero system. Now we could further break these down into their subcategories. Subcategories we might have things such as uh, the public health, the programs, and the general admin, and so on and so forth, as well as track the items that are going to be uh, restricted in more detail as well. So let's see where to turn on this class tracking feature. So we're going to go back on over to zero. We're then going to go to the drop down up to the left. We want to go down to the settings. So we're going to go into the settings. So drop down then into your settings. We're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says looking for advanced settings. That's what we want. We want the advanced settings. So we will go into those items. And then we're looking at the tracking category. So we are in the advanced settings. We want to go to the tracking categories. Tracking categories. Then we have our option here. So we have add uh, tracking category. So we're going to go ahead and add tracking category. So here's our information for the categories. So our first category, I'm going to label it as unrestricted. So we're going to say unrestricted. It's going to be our first category. And that's going to be lining up with our statement of activities. So if I went back over to Excel, you'll recall in the statement of activities, we have uh, with donor restrictions and without, we're gonna have a shortened name and just call it unrestricted. Now within the unrestricted items, we're gonna be including the breakout that's gonna be within them, including the programs, education, community services, the admin, I'm gonna call it admin, which is uh, the management in general and the fundraising. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm also going to indicate the percentages in the name as we do so. So I'm going to go back on over here and I'm going to say that uh, we have our categories then. I'm going to say admin is going to be 20%. So I'm going to say 20% admin. We've got the fund raising. I'm going to put 20% there for the fundraising. 20%. Couldn't find the percent there. And then we're going to go to the uh community community service 20 percent there and then i'm going to add one more here we're going to be adding one more and that's going to be the education and that's going to be 40 percent so 40 percent so we've got the unrestricted and then the categories are going to be admin fundraising community service and education i'm going to say save so there we have that now I'm going to add a tracking category. I'm going to add another tracking category. So we'll say add tracking category. And this is going to be restricted. And then I'm going to, for now, I'm going to put down here the restricted category of time, time restriction. And then we'll add more categories in a future presentation as we consider those items that uh, are going to be restricted items. So I'm going to say save. So there we have that. So now we have our categories of uh, unrestricted on this side so unrestricted over here and then we've got the admin community uh, service education fundraising percentages admin 20 community service 20 education 40 and fundraising 20 and then the restricted item which at this point in time we're just going to have the time restriction in that category so it'll become more apparent apparent how we're gonna use this information in future presentations, but let's just first take a look at a, uh, a transaction here. So let's take a look at an expense or an invoice. Let's take a look at an invoice first and just consider what these, uh, what these categories will then do for us. We're not gonna actually record this invoice right now. I just wanna note this line. You see, we have two items in it and that would be uh, unrestricted and restricted. 
And then if we see the drop down here, we can designate the, the category for admin and so on for uh, the unrestricted and then the restricted. We have the category of just the time and we can actually add more categories as we go as we do some of these data input fields. So once again, don't record this. I'm going to go back to the dashboard just to remind us not to record <laughs> the invoice here, but we'll see more of this in future presentations. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.